Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4! We've just stopped at Membry. We're only like 45 minutes from Bristol. But we didn't check our tyres and we had a tyre pressure warning coming up and there's a Starbucks at this one so we were like, we'll stop here. There's a Starbucks outside and there's one inside. I went to the outside one and they didn't have any matcha so I just got hot water to make a tea. And then Toby was like, I'm gonna check the tyres, go to the one inside and I was like, oh. Seems like effort but I was like, okay, if you're doing the tyres anyway, I will go check. So I've got a matcha. <laughs> got a matcha as well. So I'm gonna put this sleeve on there. Just a little one because I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit anxious. I get a lot of anxiety when we travel. I love traveling, it's my favorite thing, but I also get really bad anxiety, just like the traveling process. Yeah, I just kind of can't wait till we're there because then I'm fine. It's like the actual travel Look. day. So I was like, I don't really want a big, a big matcha with loads of caffeine and then have like worse anxiety. The rain was absolutely torrential when we were like packing the car and getting ready, and like the first part of the drive has been like worst rain ever um it seems to have eased up a bit now and i'm really hoping that it does ease up because it's supposed to be at in paris and that's a bit rubbish look at that tower you can't even see the top of it i don't you won't be able to see the tower the tower up there that massive tower why did you sound so surprised i just didn't know what tower you mean it reminded me of that movie fall where those girls go up that tower you literally can't see the top of it because it's so misty oh it's so crazy. We're on our way. We've got two hours to go. And then two and a half hours on the train. But two hours till we get to London. Living this far from London is really fucking annoying. We're under an hour away now. We've just parked um, on the same road that we parked last year. Just two houses down. And now we're just walking to the station. Um, it's not raining at the moment, but I'm trying to preserve my hair to go, hopefully not too frizzy. Hence the hood. I'm excited now. I had a bit, I was like so anxious in the car, but now I'm just excited. We're on the I start. Waiting to go. This is such a cute little cup. And I'm gonna eat my lemon tart. I always have like the most weirdest snacks. Which oh, day it's a lemon tart? May I have your attention, please? This is your star. It's a direct service to Paris North like Station. There is non stop between London and Paris. Puis-je avoir votre attention, s'il vous plaît? Je vous rappelle que ce train est. It's also really Why am I hard. So <laughs> How do you eat breakfast? Not like that. Why are you putting them in sideways? I was just trying to be weird. You're an idiot. That's a long message. Um, I was really scared about walking out with like, a hot tea because it got really like wobbly as I walked back. I was so chilled and I was a bit worried. It was mental. <laughs> We've just got to Paris. We've just got in a taxi. Which did you say? It's about half an hour? Yeah. We're about half an hour away. It's actually like a lot warmer than we thought, but it is raining quite a lot, which is why I think that is why well, it feels a bit warmer. But yeah, we're excited to be here. Are you excited to be? I am. I'm excited to be in this taxi. It's really nice. They've really, it's like wrapped. Oh, it's like a, it's a massive trunk. They've made it a massive trunk, look. All the way to the top. We're here, we're going in. We're here. Ooh, it's so nice. I like the panelling. Look at the lights on the floor. Wow, that's so cool. What's in there? Oh, it's cute. I love it. It reminds me of my old flat. Wow, it is tiny. Yeah, it's nice. You could brush your teeth at the same time. I'm guessing this is then laundry. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm really excited. Toby wants to go to Swatch, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go to, yeah, we're gonna go to Care For to get some food, and then we're gonna go to Swatch. What's that? <laughs> so we just went to care for, carry for. Tiny, but it just was so tall. <laughs> when we were walking to it, Toby was like, oh, it's really small. And then we walked in and we were like, oh no, it goes back quite far. But then there was like loads of stairs, like, like spiraling up. And there's like a whole nother level. But we just got a couple of bits, some water, some coconut yogurts, which I love getting here. I've got them in the UK before, but they're hard to find in the UK, but they seem to always be in care for's here. And some prosciutto for snacking, some crisps, some beers, a standard shop, and also some 
satisfactions for Buddy, which is dreamies, but for some reason in France they call them catisfactions, which I think is really funny. And then we're gonna drop this back at the apartment and go and find somewhere to eat dinner because I'm starving. Look at these gingerbread men, they're like puffed, like puffed up. Yeah, do you want to have a look? I just wanted to ask, can you ask him? No, I can't speak French. So pretty, look at the way we've done. Oh, you can have a look at, see the trunk now. Like Probably, I feel like everywhere's open. Oh, so excited. Now you can actually see that under tree off. Okay, we're going to swatch. Oh, look at all the Simpsons stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so exciting. <laughs> and he steps out into the Champs Elysees. Yeah. With his new. Oh, look, it's next door. We've got the moon spot. So pretty. <laughs> look. Oh, that's cute. Congratulations. <laughs> Going wild. We're, we're doing all of our favourite things tonight. <laughs> Okay. one thing for each of us so charlotte for each. so we've just left sephora which toby was like we should go tonight because during the daytime it's like absolute mayhem and whenever we've it's just sephora, mayhem is not even the word to describe <laughs> sephora. like in, i guess it's because it's december during the day on the champs it is it's mental just, yeah and they get really like funny the, about you filming and they like follow you around there's so many security people there and i feel like every other shop here is like really expensive whereas sephora is like like, affordable like boots or relatively just it's just fucking so busy yeah it's fucking crazy everyone so, else like has really expensive stuff and they don't sell anything <laughs> but it's really quiet shops <laughs> so, so yeah we um we're really excited to have a little look around without stress yeah. got a couple of things toby got we were like let's get something we both really want to try and toby got the bouncy bright facial mask illuminator from drug elephant you can see that which you have wanted to try for like at least a year. Well, it's quite a new But it came out like years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it was it's like just bright orange and called bouncy. <laughs> I really want it. Toby loves drunk elephant. Yeah. And so I, I wanted to try, and I was just I saying I wanted to try this literally since I did my Between Us Girls vlog. Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Also, I think it's quite big. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see. Do you know what's made me really happy as well? This is a fucking It's last time. Last time I bought something from last time I bought something from Sephora here, I bought Fenty foundation. I tried Fenty and I really liked it. It was a little bit too cakey for me. I prefer a bit more natural. Um, so I don't know what this is gonna be like. The packaging is so nice to hold it. Like it feels so good. And I've got the um, my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette here to try as well, so I can have like. Is that the one that was open on Christmas Day? No, the one that I opened yesterday. The little quad. Oh yeah. I haven't used it yet, so I can do a little Charlotte Tilbury face. We're home, and I've got into my pajamas, and I'm feeling so festive right now. I am. Um, I bought these pajamas. These are Chelsea Piers. I bought these back in June, and I have been so excited to wear them. I just cut the label out and put them on and they're so soft and I'm so excited I feel really festive and Toby is gonna show us his watch I couldn't figure out the lights so we've just got big bright lights going on to explain Toby like loves watches he's like a big lover of watches and last year when we came to Paris for my birthday so last April he bought a tag and it kind of like triggered triggered the love even more I think and there's like a few watches he's been after and he bought an Omega last year as well. But he really wanted to get an Omega Swatch, Moon Swatch. It's like a collaboration between Omega and Swatch. And they have, how many are there? Nine? Not, well, one for every planet. How many no, are there? No, there's actually more than that. Oh, because there's the sun. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there's eleven, actually, they're here. And it's like... Um, mission two and then it's like the sun mercury venus and they've got all the planets and the one toby really wanted was pluto and i've been looking um, i've been looking to try and find him one because they were really hard to find <laughs> i'm losing my voice a little bit again and last year they had just come out and we went didn't we that everyone was queuing there in the morning but by the time we got there they had sold out and we haven't been able to find them not every swatch store has them we nearly got one in manchester closer to christmas they said um that we could go to the trafford center but it was a bit far out we didn't really want to like travel yeah they were like we're not sure they don't know like when they're going to get deliveries or 
yeah and not every store like had them so we were a bit unsure but basically for about a year now i've had like a notification on vestiaire to kind of like alert me when someone's had a pluto one and there have been a couple but people are like reselling them for so much more so toby's so thing so yeah that's another thing so loads of people have had fakes knowing that they're fakes gone and got them verified and they've been verified as real even though they know they're fake which is just crazy but i guess the thing is they are a cheap a relatively cheap watch in terms of like you know normally if things are being verified they're like really expensive aren't they or they're like real leather or made in a certain way but because it's just a swatch i guess they're not that different to, to knockoffs i guess um so he wanted to make sure he bought it from swatch so that entire lead up to paris you've been saying if they have it i'm gonna buy it so we were just like should we just go there on the way to dinner and they had it so he got it bam it's here the speedmaster omega swatch oh it kind of matches my nails i went for like a more burgundy brown it kind of matches it's very in right now tibs so this is like the oh, it's so light. Omega's like the watch. Oh, it's the got the plastic. Oh, it's got the plastic on the cover. Of the astronauts. Oh my god, I love getting these off. Um, what? The watch of well, the it's astronauts. The first watch on the moon. They um, is it Neil Armstrong had one? What a Speedmaster. Yeah. There's the Seamaster, which is what this is, and then the Speedmaster, yeah. which, which is, is also known is. as the Moon Watch. Cute. Another watch for the collection. And we're quite excited to do our skincare and wash our faces because of our new skincare. And I'm excited to do my makeup tomorrow and try this out. So yeah, we've just got back. I've made a cup of tea. Toby's having a beer. We're just going to like chill now. I'm going to edit my vlog from today. And I need to upload my vlog from yesterday, actually. We're going to watch a Modern Family, I think, and just chill. Mm. What is the time? Quarter to 11. Quarter to 7, but quarter to 10. UK. English time. English time. We've got like, look at our little snack. Our little snack pile that we bought earlier, including Buddy's cat satin. Yeah, but we really wanted to have like a really good day tomorrow, so we wanted to have like a relatively early night tonight. And yeah, we had dinner, did a bit of shopping, and then went for a drink. We both had a little Moscow mule from just a little place down the road, which was just so nice. It's just so nice because we love coming to Paris. I've been to Paris a million times. We've been a few times together. And it's really nice because we love coming to this area of Paris, but we always like go back to the areas that we're staying in, which have always been amazing. Like I've loved every area that we stayed in. I'm gonna butcher the names, but we stayed in, uh, where did we stay the first time? Bastille. And so just like the other side of the Louvre, which was a vibe. Like Bastille was pretty cool, wasn't it? Like yeah. it was a real like buzzing, vibey place. There was like a lot of nightlife and it was really, really cool. I loved it there. And then we stayed in Les Halles. Les Halles? Mm -hmm. Les Halles. Last year. Loved it. Again, it was amazing. And I was kind of a bit sad. I was like, oh, are we going to be really sad, like, staying on the Champs Elysees and, like, not having, like, a cute little, like, area of its own but actually it's so nice being here in the evening because we like come here and then go home and then have like a drink and a crepe and all of that like back where we are but it was so nice wasn't it like sitting in like the Arc de Triomphe is there and all the festive lights it's just so festive on the Champs Elysees it's nice going when it's so quiet yeah and so quiet and we went to Sephora because it's so much quieter than during the day it's normally rammed um yeah we've had such a good time we've got like I've made like an itinerary but only because we wanted to fit in all the things we I'll wanted do to do. <laughs> double. <laughs> double, double, I was gonna say double swatch, double Omega swatch. We have like, I've made like a bit of an itinerary, but not like to, to strictly stick to, but just because we wanted to include like a few places that we wanted to go. There's a matcha place I saw on Instagram that I really wanna go to. And there's just like a few places that like we didn't wanna miss. So I've kind of roughly built an itinerary around those places and then we can kind of like see what we're gonna do around that. So tomorrow I think we're gonna get up and either walk down or metro stop down, but I think walk to the other end of the Champs Elysees uh, near Hotel Crillon, Crillon and the Orangery and we're gonna go to the whiskey shop down there and then work our way back up and there's a little square that we like to go to for a drink and a few places we want to go. I cannot wait to go to Galleries Lafayette 
and we've just got a few places that we want to go so that's our plan tomorrow so yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna just like go and do our skincare and watch modern family and edit my video and have a little chill evening so i'm gonna say goodbye now but we're like buzzing we're so we're so happy to be here like i'm just my happiest when i'm in paris and i fucking love it i'm so excited and i can't wait to see you tomorrow so thank you for joining me on vlogmas day four and we'll see you for vlogmas day five bye <laughs> bye Thank you.